Today, I'm going to talk about, um, I, I, I didn't really know, this title is not very good for what I want to talk about today, but uh, I might rename it later, but we'll see. Uh, um, a theme of this is though about how in the trading world, it's just you, right? It's not, there's not, there, there's a lot of other elements that you can combine on. And that's all, though. I just thought of something, a note that I have a note for myself on something I want to talk about later. But yeah, how the market is basically, there's all these factors around, but you ultimately have to dial it down to, you know, you're just kind of alone out here. And as I'll get into later, the market's a bigger place um, than you think. Like we, we live in this little echo chamber, you know, these kind of bubbles or little fit, you know, our MIC bubble, our, our, our Twitter finance bubble, you know, our, you know, the, the same message boards that we read over and over and over again. We, we find ourselves in these kind of these bubbles of the market. We you know, only paying attention to the same kinds of stocks. And the market is a lot bigger. Like there are a lot more market participants and a lot more players than, like there are more traders off Twitter than there are on Twitter. Like think about that. I mean, there's a lot of traders on Twitter and you, it makes you feel like that's the whole world is that, but I promise there's more traders off Twitter than are. There's more big traders off Twitter. There's more big um, uh, people that, you know, that you've never heard about that probably, you know, um, that work in firms that are not on Twitter. It's the market is a huge place. And you can just sometimes you get, you can get a little, um, what's tunnel vision a little bit. Um, and, you know, in some ways it's good, but in some ways it's bad. So, well, yeah, we're a pawn, but. The, pro the problem is there's nothing you can do about it. You know, you, you have to live with that. So um, little kind of, like I said, that's not really encompassing. I can't figure out what the title is, but we'll get into it. Anyway, um, so yeah, so if this is your first webinar, welcome. Uh, it might be a lot of you guys' first webinar because I haven't done one in two weeks. And, you know, we, we rolled over a new month. And so, may, you know, I don't think I did one for September yet. So this might be your first webinar of mine. So if, if not, if so, welcome. Uh, a couple of webinars that will help you, um, or not help, but like if, if you haven't watched these, um, well, don't end the stream now, but uh, go, you know, go back and watch these after, uh, after this is done. But these webinars will help you uh, to kind of tie into this one. And if you haven't, and if you're watching this on repeat, watching my adapting and changing webinar and self-awareness will kind of help you or, or, you know, two of my favorite webinars to watch before this one. But anyway, for those who this is your first one, welcome. We'll be going over the market sentiment as I always do. Then we'll have a segment that I like to call risk targets and entries. We'll go over, you know, any of the movers that move this week, we'll kind of go over. Um, and I think that if I had to explain what kind of happened, what changed, I think that's it. Um, so that's kind of my take on kind of, this year so far as a whole. And I wanted to do this comp comprehensive one because this comprehensive take just because um, I took two weeks off and I wanted to um, just kind of do a, a gloss over. And one thing I also wanted to put on this slide is a couple of current trends that, um, uh, that, I, that I've been noticing. One thing that I've been noticing is that at around 9.45, 9.45 to 10 o'clock has been that magic time for longs in the morning. It used to be a little bit earlier. You could get like a little squeeze a little bit earlier um, or a little bit later even. But, you know, like that 10.30 low I, I, I like to talk about, that's still there. But as for, in this market, um, a lot of the times, like they're just making new lows by 10.30. Like it makes a 10.30 low and it makes another one after that. Um but like, as far as like the morning, kind of like the morning long, you know, if you want to get one nice quick move out of the morning, which is what I like to do. I like to get a quick move out of the morning long. Um, 9.45 kind of seems to be the magic number, 9.45 to 10. And I'll show you some examples of some stocks that move when we go over the, I'm going to weave this into the next portion. When we go over all the stocks, uh, remind me to, um, to point out the 9.45s. And, I, and I'll show you just something I've been noticing because I looked over some charts right before I, on Monday, right before I came back. It seems like 9.45 seems to be that time. And one other trend that I've noticed is that a short, 
that I kind of wrote off a long time ago because it stopped being a thing because stocks that were up in the afternoon just fucking kept running. <laughs> Uh, I kind of took away the overextended trend break out of my arsenal for a while, but it's my, like, um, I don't know if it's my favorite anymore. Uh, I do like longing more, but it is by far my favorite short setup. And I even have a, a whole webinar on this one setup. It's called the overextended trend break. It's an amazing short. It's my favorite short to take. Um, I mean, we, I've been seeing this a lot more often now, and it's because these stocks are failing, right? It's because these stocks, um, are, are climbing, 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 and just ultimately getting destroyed. And that's a great setup. And so a lot of the times I would actually um, advise against shorting above VWAP. But again, remember, we're, that's, that's really, you really have to be careful of that in the hot market, in those strong bullish markets. Um, in a stock where everything, in, in a market where everything tanks, you can get, if you can, um, you know, like nail some good, um, good entries near the top and kind of like, it's almost like poker when, when you're, you know, like when your when your stack's a little bit bigger, you can, you know, you can afford to be a little bit, um, not riskier. Yeah. Riskier is a word, but cavalier maybe is the right word. You know, like you see, uh, you know, in a stock where kind of everything tanks, the, the stack is really deep on, on stocks failing right now. You can, you see, you see a little fail off high day and it's midday. And there's a, you know, and it starts to break trend. Fuck yeah. Like, I mean, you, this is a time where you could start to kind of employ some of those shorts, right? And, and we're seeing some epic fades. And a good one, a good example of this is like on INDP, right? That, that sick fade that it had or Life or Ader the other day, right? We're seeing some sick, sick fades once these trends that once, you know, the stocks that do make it alive after the morning, when they break trend, I mean, that's it. You know, it's literally called my, I think the webinar is called my favorite setup. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, it's a great short. And like, we haven't really been seeing it that often uh, until recently, like in this, in this, in this kind of like everything failing. And so I might be looking to take some of those like um, coming up. All right. So that was my secret slide. <laughs> my take on really kind of, what happened this year shorts are probably loving it shorts are probably like what are you talking about austin what do you mean what happened what happened is fucking market got awesome right that's the shorts are don't like in their heads saying to me right now they're like fuck off what happened is fucking shit got awesome shit got real uh that's what shorts are saying right now but for the longs in here they're like dude what the fuck happened Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.